morning guys so i want to make waffles for my kids for breakfast but <laughs> i'll be making waffles with a twist need about um 50 grams of butter that's 54 but you need 50 grams of butter so when you're doing any baking recipe i just said this of recent it's always best to use a um, measuring scale to get accurate measurements so i'm going to melt up this butter just a little bit in the microwave this waffle recipe it's not the usual waffle recipe for those of you that um your kids don't like seeing chunks of vegetables and you want to incorporate vegetables into their meals even breakfast you need to stick around and see what i'm going to do to these waffles my kids are okay with vegetables chicken soup perfect like she'll eat chunks of vegetable cassie my three-year-old she would eat vegetable but she likes it a little bit smaller but if you if you if your kids generally yeah finish melting the butter if your kids generally don't like to see vegetables it's good to encourage them also make them see the reality like the vegetables but sometimes you want to do like a cheat code <laughs> so this is a recipe breakfast recipe for them so this is um 50 grams of um butter i'm going to put 250 ml of milk so one thing with scales like this you can set it up to male ounce and um, um ki kilograms so i'm going to put 250 grams of um 250 ml of milk which is about a cup of milk you have to be careful when doing this because if you put too much you can't take it out because there's there's um butter in it yeah 255 well, it should be 250 <laughs> so i'm going to crack in one egg so i'm going to set this aside and um, i want to mix up the the flour for this recipe you need self-rising flour but i don't have self-rising flour so i'm going to be using hmm, i've not done my skill so i'm going to be using plain flour I'm going to be making self-rising flour out of plain flour. It's just baking powder. So it depends on the quantity. Um, it's all about the quantity of baking powder I'll be adding. Let's take this to gram. So um, to get self-rising flour, you need um, 100 gram of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. That will give you self-rising flour. So for this recipe, I need 225 grams of flour. So I'll just put two table two teaspoons of baking powder. So just know this. If you don't have, let me measure this out first before I continue. Two, two, four, yeah. So if you don't have self-rising flour and you need to follow a recipe that calls for self-rising flour, and you have only big only plain flour, all you have to do is to add where's my baking powder? All you have to do is to add baking powder. So for every 100 gram of flour, you add one tablespoon of, one teaspoon, teaspoon. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying tablespoon then. Jara, extra, so don't add extra. I say one teaspoon, don't be like me. So when I mix it up, I have myself raising flour. The other day I saw online, someone was saying, um. I saw on TikTok actually someone was making bones. I call that bones. But she made it using self-rising flour and said she made bones without yeast. No, she said no, she said she made both both without yeast because she used self-rising flour. Please, is that both both? That is bones. Both both needs yeast. Yeah. And she, so, so someone was saying in the comment section, no, that's bones. She said, no, if you're making bones, you need to use plain flour and baking powder. But she she made both both. And she made it both both without yeast. What in the confusion is that? Let me know in the comment section, guys. What what do you understand by this um her statement? Because we all know that both both makes both both is both both because of the yeast, and bones is bones because of the baking powder, and bones is faster. Bones gets ready in 30 minutes because you just need to let it sit for 15 minutes of 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 you need to let it rise for an hour an hour and a half thereabouts and yeast does the work so anyway everybody and their recipe but that was actually bones not bones. 
so um i'm going to make this up so because we're making waffles i'm actually making waffles and waffles sugar in waffles is really really optional and even if you want to put sugar it might be like a tablespoon of sugar like a tablespoon it doesn't need to be sweet what's happening here i'm turning off my lights already <laughs> it doesn't need to be sweet so yeah let's i hope this will not splash i always have a problem with this splashing whatever the way i know i can carry it because you're carrying me so let's keep this aside and then i'm going to add the, the flour and then mix it in so you can add vanilla flavor but i don't want to do that i want to add um cinnamon because i'm trying to make it a bit um uh, what's it called um, savory not sweet just something savory So we're going to mix this again. All mixed up. So now what's going to make it a little bit different. Normally I would just start frying it. So let me take this out. I'm going to be adding some kills. So over here I've got blanched kills. So yesterday I made um I made soup for my kids with kills and um I made um, yam. I think the yam is still here. I added some kills. I made yam just this morning. This is um, yam porridge with some kills inside. So I blanched three packs of kills and I still have some left. I want to use for maybe smoothies for myself. Uh, yeah, so this is blanched and i'm going to add it in here just as much as you can but your kids if they don't like seeing vegetables i think they'll also struggle to eat this waffle so i'm going to be using a blender if i were you but normally i might also leave it like this so i'm going to be blending this up i'm going to be blending it up so i would advise you to blend it up what do we do here so i'm advising you to blend it up so your kids can enjoy it better Okay, guys, this is a very good way to add vegetables into your kids meal and there's nothing like encouraging i know some of some of the kids they are very smart so why is it green why is it green tell them it's nice vegetables very good for you all right guys see how it look what it looks like this is kale's waffles <laughs> yeah that's what i'm going to title this video kale's waffles You just add as much as you can i think this one is okay like this you can see the the greens trust me that these kills i added here looks like a little but remember it's blanched i know when you blend vegetable it shrinks down so it's quite a lot there so you can pair these after making the waffles you can just um pair it with um maybe maple syrup honey or cream cheese and the kids they're going to enjoy it Another thing I will encourage parents to do. You can't tell if a kid, if a child likes something or not from the first trial. Keep encouraging, keep offering. So I'm going to fry this now, like in the waffle maker. Now I can carry it because you carry me. Whatever unravels, whatever mistakes. Your eyes are on.
So I'm just spreading some cream cheese on it. So yummy. So this is for my nine months old. Hello. Hello, mama. <laughs> it's for you. My nine months old, she loves cream cheese ever since she was six months old. The first time I, I spread um, cream cheese, no, I was eating something, uh, crackers and cream cheese. I gave her a little to taste. Oh my god, it blew her head. I don't know if they want maple syrup. <laughs> I'm spreading cream cheese and all of it. Let me just do a little and then the rest I will do it blank. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you found it very helpful how to incorporate vegetables into your kids breakfast. If they don't like vegetables, they don't like to see vegetables. But don't forget to still offer the real vegetable like in the real states. Physical, physical so they can see it and encourage them to eat. And also when you eat yourself, they see you eating the vegetables and they are encouraged. Right, you know, breakfast time. It's breakfast time. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> we need to clean your ears for the morning. If not clean your ears. Yeah. The nose is yucky. Do you want to try some? There you go. Try and tell me how it tastes. Ah. What are you even making? She's confused. Oh. Which one? Cream cheese or maple syrup? Or you want cream cheese and maple syrup? I want cream okay. cheese and maple syrup. Okay. Syrup. Okay. So this one has cream cheese. So I'm going to put maple syrup on this one. Okay. There's some in the waffle maker. Mm. Are you watching a movie? Yeah. What's it? Mm. Yeah, I will give you some. This is not for Chinese, this is for Cassie. It's all for you. Bye. Chicken, Sobia.